So look, bro. Another reaction video. Another Ghost Gang video. Um, yeah, we about to get straight into this video. Before I say congratulations to the winner, bro. In order to win that $50, you got to be first comment. When you first comment, you got to type Ghost Gang. Nothing else. Ghost, how was you doing? Matter of fact, I'm looking out for you. Because if you, look, if you put Ghost, how you doing, you already too late. All right. Another thing. A lot of y'all think y'all first. If you go to the comments right now, it's going to be three bars. One long one, one medium, one short one. Click that, click newest, and it'll show you who first. Then the ones I get. You know what I'm saying? One more thing. When you comment Ghost Gang, if you don't respond within three minutes, bro, listen to me. It used to be five minutes, but then y'all... Anyway, you don't respond within three minutes... You ain't getting it. I'm going to just give it to the winner tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I am. Other than that, we're going to start this video. Um, happy Sunday, even though y'all not going to get this on a Sunday. Let's go. Upon arrival, officers located a disabled SUV in the roadway, which matched the description of the at-fault vehicle that was provided by 911 dispatchers. I can barely read through that. Through them icons. What's going on, ma'am? Somebody just hit us at the red light. This Is he okay? Her. Is he okay? Mm. Sir? A hit and run? Bro, I cannot read with these icons. The responding officer observed the passenger of the vehicle in handcuffs. What? How was the passenger in the vehicle in handcuffs if the police is just now pulling up? Initially, the female driver is unwilling to provide the reason why the male passenger is in handcuffs. How you call the police if... Either y'all was doing something freaky, something foul with something I don't understand is going on, bro. How is he your handcuffs? Why is he in handcuffs? I can't answer no question, sir. What? Hold on one second. Leave him there. 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 <laughs> Radio, can I get a photo of my location? I have a black bro, what's going on? his face. Got him the fuck out of there. This is what happened. Uh, this is what I would bet money on. Once medical personnel arrive to the scene, they tend to the ma to the male passengers. Nah, go back. What is so when the medical when the uh, paramedics get to the scene and the police just arriving to the scene? Who put this fool in handcuffs, bro? I be trying to decipher it before I get through the video because I like my this how I do my reactions. You know what I'm saying? I be wanting to predict. I like to be right. But I don't care about being wrong. GGOT. GGOT. Got him the fuck out of there. This is what happened. Uh, this is what I would bet my All right, once the paramedics got there, officer is again question the female driver, and she indicates that she don't know why a boy is handcuffed, basically. The passenger, her and the passenger was at a nearby club prior to the auto accident. So was they in one of them freaky rooms at a strip club? They put the handcuffs on so he had a time in his life. And they were so drunk they forgot to ask them to take the handcuffs off. I'm trying to think of a reason why bro is in the handcuffs if we seen the first responders pull up. So it's no way the police put him in a handcuff. And if they was at the strip club, why wouldn't the female, his girl, his sister, auntie, whoever that is, refuse to answer any questions, bro? And why would she put him in hand? She kidnapped, bro? She kidnapped him. That got to Don't fast forward the video either. What's the reason this fool is in handcuffs? Damn him. It might be in the title. This what it is, bro. When Jay sent me the videos, he sent them to me without the titles. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it like that. Because then I automatically know what's going on. I'm the best reactor on YouTube. I don't pre-watch my videos, bro. And then if you see the title to a video, it's kind of like you pre-watching it. Let's keep it real. 
because you know what's about to happen. You know what's going on. Then you get to have your assumptions of the video before even watching it. You can't wait till that timestamp come up just to see whatever the title is going to really happen in the video. I don't do that, man. Money on. Who took the handcuffs off? I don't know. Yo, whose car is this? Huh? Whose car is this? Uh, hey, how did he wind up in handcuffs, love? How did he wind up in handcuffs? I don't know. Why is she in jail? Which told you? Uh, Peaches. Peaches? Okay. Uh, I got you. Over. Ain't it better? Ain't it better when you got your assumptions without watching it? Ain't it better when you get to think about it a little? He was probably at the strip. Yeah, he was at the strip club. Uh, yeah. I got you. Okay. <sighs> once medical person, once the paramedics arrive on the scene, they tend to the male passenger. Officers again question the female drivers. The female drivers. The female driver, and she indicates the handcuffed passenger were at a nearby club prior to the auto accident. Did you guys get into it with security over there? Yeah, I think so. Sir, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All I know is that's my hood. Gotcha. I'm going to grab your Appreciate it. I don't know. Okay, Something foul fine. going on. Okay. Something foul going on. Thirteen zero six radio. Some fire going on. Walk around like a easy car. <laughs> what do you work for? Officers drive to a nearby club in effort to find out what happened. Oh man. Okay. They do really um, know what happened. Did y'all have some shit up here a little bit ago? Male and female get into it with anybody? Yeah. Sure Left you. in a pair of cuffs. Yeah. yeah. All uh, right. What was the story with that? Uh, they were just drunk. Security officer at the club. I'm reading it because I know this small on the reaction, uh, on the reaction video. Y'all can barely see it. The security guard, the, <laughs> the security guard at the officer club identifies himself as Department of Homeland Security Special Agent in states. Then states they put in states. Special Agent then states that he placed the male in handcuffs before the male ran off. So what's the problem here? The problem is. His wife think that she's going to get him in trouble if she tell the police that basically her husband was fleeing and invading after being arrested. These police have been so lazy, they don't even know where. <laughs> Bro, let us get they body count. That got to be some funny sh You know what I'm saying? You arrest a fool, then he run off with his hands behind his back, hop up in the truck with his wife and get on. We need that body cam. Somebody find that. Uh, we need that. And, um, Whose handcuffs is he wearing? Mine. He took off. He jumped in the SUV and took off. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's Metro. It's a fair. So, like, almost down to 166. Mm -hmm. Wiped out real hard. Oh, hurt some people. Hurt themselves. Oh. <clears throat> the officer observed that the alleged DHS... <coughs> Which is Homeland Security. Story is odd, and so he detained. <laughs> oh my God! <coughs> I tried laughing and coughing at the same time. <coughs> the police just arrested the police, bro, is what they said. The police just arrested the police, bro. Like, this is my job. You Homeland Security, therefore, you All make right. sure people sprinkle this work. Here's what I want you to do for me, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take your firearm off your side. Okay? Okay. You got uh just circle here? Yes. Alright. Place that in my car. You're not the real police. You you're realizing it now. Okay. Right. Realizing it now. And he gonna get blamed for their accident. Right now you are not under arrest, you're just being detained for the further investigation here. He gonna get blamed for the uh, injuries on our boy, I should say. Do you have a key to your handcuffs? Uh his unofficial badge in radio. Hold up. I said DHS, which is Department of Homeland Security, about to get arrested. But he not even DHS, bro. This is a wannabe. It's a fake cop that never made it. Bro can't even get a security. He don't even have a guard card. He's not even legal to have a firearm, bro. This the fake police. You going to jail. You finna go to... Bro... They ran off, did all that sh for nothing. And never mind me finding the body count footage on these fools. We ain't going to get it. They not the real police. 
wife is holding it down like I ain't saying nothing. Me and me are hurt. I promise you, them baddies, that's why I only mess with six and sevens, them baddies going to tell, bro. If they finna go to jail, I'm too cute to go to jail. They would say them exact words. Get you a six or a seven, she ride till the wheels fall off. In the car. Keys in the car? Yeah. Who's the radio through? Uh, eBay. Nobody. <laughs> okay. That's not a home man radio? No. Nobody. Okay. He got a fake name on this thing. He got Jack, so people can be scared. <laughs> got my Amazon badge. Okay. I'm going to have you have a seat in my car for a minute, okay? Yeah. But never registered it. The, the Officers investigate the suspect unofficial police vehicle further, and it's discovered that the vehicle is bearing the government license plate that belonged to a school bus. What? You going to jail, bro? And he only really, he, if you go, whatever city you in right now, look at the city bus, the school bus, the paramedics, the fire department, the police cars. In California, it got a small little E. In Vegas, it say EX small. That's how you know if, like, if it's a government issue plate. He took those to put it on his car so it could look like that's a government issue car. Bro finna go to jail. Impersonating a police officer, they give you more time. Then that for what? Come on, man. That's like a the case. license plate is off of a Bluebird school bus from uh, from Tucker, Georgia. That's how he got a GB tag. Radio check this thing. You in the jail? That's the PA. Go in the jail. Is it just a scanner? The jacket in the in the back seat is just a regular old uh, raincoat. It doesn't say police on it. Got it. Beautiful. Put this in the back with all of the other evidence because that's going to be evidence also. Yeah. You don't have a blank. Yeah. So I guess it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The suspect is identified as 40. Oh, this dumb fool put his real name, his real name on his bulletproof vest, bro. Anyway, it's confirmed that Mr. Jackson is not Department of Homeland Security. You loving your fake job too much, bro. You wasn't supposed to arrest nobody. You just go around looking cool like you. He was loving his fake job way too much. You know what I'm saying? Oh boy, took off on you because he knew he was fake. He probably felt like he was finna get smoked. Jackson's stupid. Look how sad he looked. This is what I want to know. After he arrested oh boy, where did he plan on taking him? Couldn't take him to the jail, the county jail. She was going to take him to your house. Was he going to kidnap him or murder him? What was you going to do, bro? What was the use of arresting somebody if you can't do nothing after that? It's like getting a girl to the room and not fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are we getting here for if I can't do nothing after that, bro? I'm too old to... Yeah, well, who gets the room to watch TV? To cuddle. Not to cuddle and type. Two minutes in, I'm ready to... I ain't lying. This fool is stupid. What was you going to do? Give him a warning? Um, Tell him you was just playing? So we just asked him. fools? <laughs> Psych. What was you going to do, bro? Let me know. Next video, I will get at y'all. 100.